Friday, January 29th, 2021, third week after the Epiphany, morning meditation. Meditations are taken from Meditations and Readings for Every Day of the Year by St. Alphonsus de Liguori, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, First Choice's Teacher in Moral Theology. Act of faith in the presence of God, in nomine Pace, Fili, Spiritu Sancti, Amen. Most holy, adorable, and undivided Trinity, one God and three persons, I believe that thou art here present. I adore thee with the deepest humility, and render to thee with my whole heart the homage which is due to thy sovereign majesty. Grant me the grace to pray as I ought. Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. O blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and my mother, I ask for the grace to continue to pray. St. Alphonsus de Liguori, pray for us. Christian soul, reflect on these every day of your life. There is one God to glorify, one eternity to prepare for. Saints and angels to call upon, one life to use well, one body to mortify, one death to suffer, one hell to avoid, one judgment to confront, one Jesus to imitate, one soul to save, neighbors to edify, one world to be detached from, sins to expiate for, passions to subject to our will, virtues to acquire, one heaven to win act of humility, litany of humility. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear me. From the desire of being esteemed, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being loved, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being extolled, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being honored, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being praised, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being preferred to others, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being consulted, Deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being approved, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being humiliated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being despised, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of suffering rebukes, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being culminated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being forgotten, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being ridiculed, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being wronged, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being suspected, <coughs> deliver me, Jesus, that others may be loved more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be esteemed more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that in the opinion of the world, others may increase and I may decrease. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be chosen and I set aside. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be praised and I unnoticed. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be preferred to me in everything. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may become holier than I, provided that I may become as holy as I should. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, we ask for your guidance in this, our morning meditation, through the intercession of thy blessed Mother Mary, ever-Virgin. Ave Maria, gratia, pona dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, sin benedictus fructus ventris tui Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mata Dei, or Penobis Peccatoribus, Nuc nit hor mortis nostre. Amen. In honor of St. Joseph, our guardian angel and all the saints, we pray Gloria Patria et Filio, Spiritus Sancto, Sicut Eret in Principio, Nuc et Semper, and in Secula Seculorum. Amen. Come, Holy Ghost, fill the hearts of thy faithful, and kindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy spirit, and it shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, to instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Ghost, grant in that same spirit that we may be truly wise, ever to rejoice in this consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Morning Meditation My soul is sorrowful unto death. The grief of the heart of Jesus came not on account of the torments he saw he should have to suffer, but from seeing the sins of men men would commit after his death. It was the sight of my sins that oppressed thy heart, O Jesus, and made thee agonize and sweat blood. This is the recompense I have made thee. Quote, my soul is sorrowful even unto death. Matthew twenty six thirty eight. These were the words that proceeded from the sorrowful heart of Jesus Christ in the Garden of Gethsemane before he went to die. Alas, when came this extreme grief of his, which was so great, that is enough to take away his life. Perhaps it was on account of the torments that he saw he would have to suffer. 
No, for he had foreseen these torments from the time of his incarnation. He had foreseen them, and he had accepted them of his own free will. Quote, he was offered because it was his own will. Isaiah 53, verse 7. His grief came from seeing the sins men would commit after his death. It was then, according to St. Bernardine of Siena, that he saw clearly each particular sin of each one of us. He had regard to every individual sin. It was not then, my Jesus, the sight of the scourges or of the thorns and of the cross which so afflicted thee in the Garden of Gethsemane. It was the sight of my sins. Each one of them so oppressed thy heart with grief and sadness that it made thee agonize and sweat blood. This is the recompense I have made for the love that was shown me by dying for me. <laughs> Let me share the grief that is feel in the garden for my sins, so that the remembrance of it may make me sorrowful all my life. Ah, uh, my sweet Redeemer, if I could but console thee as much now by my grief and love as I then afflicted thee. I repent my love with all my heart for having preferred my own miserable satisfaction to thee. I am sorry and I love thee above all things. Although I have despised thee, yet I hear thee ask for my love. Thou wouldst have me love thee with all my heart. Quote, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Matthew 22, verse 37. Yes, my God, I love thee with all my heart. I love thee with all my soul. Do thou give me the love thou requirest of me. If I have hitherto sought myself, I will now seek none but thee. And seeing that thou hast loved me more than others, more than others will I love thee. Draw me always more and more, my Jesus, to thy love by the odor of thine ointments, which are the loving attractions of thy grace. Finally, give me strength to correspond to so much love which God has borne to an ungrateful worm and traitor. Mary, Mother of Mercy, help me by thy prayers. <clears throat> Quote, Neither by the blood of goats or of calves, but by his own blood, entered once into the holies, having obtained eternal redemption. Hebrews 9, 12. And of what worth would the blood of all goats, or even of all men, be? If they were sacrificed to obtain divine grace for us, it is only the blood of this man God would merit for us pardon and eternal salvation. But if God himself had not devised this way to redeem us, as he did by dying to save us, who ever would have been able to think of it? His love alone designed it and executed it. Therefore, holy Job did well to cry out to this God who loves man so much, quote, What is man that thou should magnify him? Why dost thou set thy heart upon him? Job 7, verse 17. O oh, my Jesus, one heart is but little with which to love thee. If I love thee even with the hearts of all men, it would be too little. What ingratitude, then, would it be if I were to divide my heart between thee and creatures? No, my love, thou wouldst have it all, and well dost thou deserve it. I will give it all to thee. If I do not know how to give it to thee as I ought, take it thyself and grant that I may be able to say to thee with truth, quote, Thou art the God of my heart. Psalm 72, verse 26. Ah, my Redeemer, by the merits of the abject and afflicted life that thou dost will to live for me, give me true humility, which will make me love contempt and obscure life. May I lovingly embrace all inf infirmities, affronts, persecutions, and interior sufferings, and all the crosses which may come to me from thy hands. Let me love thee, and then dispose of me as thou wilt. O loving heart of my Jesus, make me love thee by discovering to me the immense good that thou art. Make me all thine before I die. I love thee, my Jesus, who art worthy to be loved. I love thee with my whole heart. I love thee with all my soul. Spiritual reading, <clears throat> Heroes and Heroines of the Faith, St. Arcadius. St. Arcadius was a native African and most profitably suffered martyrdom in Caesarea, at present Churchill, a small village in the province of Mascara in Algiers, the capital of Mauritania. 
A furious persecution was raging, during which the Christians were cruelly dragged before the idols to sacrifice. Arcadius withdrew to a solitary place where he employed his time in fasting and prayer. Meanwhile, as he did not appear at the public sacrifices, soldiers were dispatched to surprise him in his house. But not finding him, they arrested one of his relatives in order to make him discover the retreat of his kinsmen. Arcadius was unwilling that another should suffer on his account and presented himself to the governor, saying that his relative might be discharged as he had come to answer for himself. The governor replied that he also might depart unhurt if he would sacrifice to the gods. The saint courageously answered, Thou art deceived if thou believest that threats of death can affright the servants of God. They say with St. Paul, To me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. Philippians 1.21 Invent, therefore, what tortures thou canst. We shall never be separated from our God. Hereupon the tyrant, full of wrath and thinking the usual tortures too light for Arcadius, ordered that joint after joint should be chopped off the saint's body. Beginning with his toes, the barbarous butchery was instantly executed, during which the holy martyr ceased not to bless the Lord. After his body had been reduced to a mere trunk, calmly surveying his mangled limbs scattered around him, he exclaimed, O oh, happy members that I have served that have served to manifest the glory of God. Now that I behold you separated from my body, you are dearer to me than ever. I now know that I belong to Jesus Christ, as I have always desired. Then turning to those present who are idolaters, he said, Know ye that all these sufferings are easily overcome by those who continually keep before their eyes eternal life which God bestows upon his servants. Adore the true God who consoles me in these tortures and abandon the worship of your false gods who cannot assist you in your need. He who dies for the true God acquires life everlasting. Behold, for having suffered these torments, I go to live with him eternally, without fear of ever losing him. Having finished his discourse, he placidly gave his soul to his Redeemer on the 12th of January. This martyrdom filled the idolaters with confusion and inspired the Christians with a great desire of laying down their lives for Jesus Christ. They afterwards collected the scattered limbs of the martyr and gave them honorable burial. Concluding prayer, I give thee thanks, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, for the light which thou now bestowest upon me. I make a firm purpose of my will, that I may, in uniformity with your divine will, O triune God, keep my resolutions and keep them well, for the love of thee and thy mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, so that through her intercession I may receive by her loving hands the grace to be ever faithful to my resolutions, my state in life and rule of life, now until the hour of my death. I give thee thanks, O God, for the patience with which thou hast hitherto borne with me. I see that, although I forgot thee, that it's not forget me. I am sorry, my sovereign good, for having turned my back upon thee, and I am now resolved to give myself entirely to thee. And why should I delay, that thou mayest abandon me, and that death may find me as miserable and ungrateful as I have been even until now? No, my God, I will no more offend thee, but will love thee. I love thee, O infinite goodness. Give me perseverance in thy holy love. I ask for nothing more. Mary, refuge of sinners, intercede for all the holy souls in purgatory and for all poor sinners, particularly myself. Nomina Patri Fili, Espiritu Sancti. Amen. Have a blessed morning and day, O slaves of Mary.